Welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Ace of Traits. My wife and I recently had our septic tank pumped and when they finished they left the access point or the manhole cover exposed. So, we decided to try our hand at building a fake boulder to cover it up. Let's take a look. So you can kind of see here at the beginning how it looks with the manhole cover exposed. And then what we decided to do was we took some uh, plastic bottles and kind of recyclable material and filled it up with uh, spray foam insulation to kind of create the interior uh, for the concrete. Then we mixed up uh, some concrete, just uh, normal concrete. Kind of learned something. This is the first time I've ever worked with concrete. Uh, next time I do a project like this, I'll just use Portland cement. Concrete comes with aggregate uh, embedded in it, and it looks cool from a distance, but when you get close to it, you can tell that it's, that it's concrete and not, not a rock. Then the next step we did, uh, kind of took the concrete and smoothed it out over the top of the spray foam insulation to give a little bit of a form. Uh, I put it on about a half inch to an inch thick, uh, some places it, it was a little less, and around the bottom, wasn't too concerned because later on, that will be covered up with dirt, so you won't even see it. I was actually pretty impressed with how well the concrete will hold a shape. So as you uh, fill in gaps and in different places, you can mold it and sculpt it very easily. And what you're gonna see is I used uh, a couple different sized trowels to uh, give a little bit of form, a little definition, uh, remove my fingerprints and uh, some of the other odd shapes that were in there. Definitely learned a lot working with the concrete. Um, I would recommend to anybody, if you've never worked with concrete, definitely find a, a job or a project to use it on. I think it'll be something that you will enjoy. I feel like it would be something that once you did it once, you, you'd probably want to do it again. I'm, I'm itching to, to build and create some things out of concrete now. And you can see once I finished sculpting it, I just got it to a shape that was uh, pretty close to some of the rocks around our house. It wasn't really going for anything too perfect. I just wanted to give some textures and kind of play with it and see uh, how it would turn out. Once it was set up, it, did act it actually didn't take very long to set up at all. But once, it was, once it was set up, then uh, it was time to paint it. Uh, and what you'll see is that I used a, a variation of paints. Again, since this was my first time working with concrete, wanted to uh, experiment, really see how certain paints would react, how they'll hold up, 
Uh, so we used everything from um, spray paint, which was an indoor-outdoor paint uh, rated for concrete. We also used uh, different types of ac acrylic paint. Uh, same thing, rated for indoor-outdoor use. Um, and then I used uh, different types of uh, texturing from old rags, brushes, um, even diluted it some with, with water just to uh, give it different types of patterns, something that wasn't just regular brush strokes. And then I worked in a, a, a wide variety of colors as well from grays and blues to whites and uh, some browns and at one point even in, used a little bit of green which really helped uh, contrast against some of the grayer areas in the concrete itself and then also used uh, some black some deep deep dark blues and, and kind of mixed it with some black for some of my shadows It took a long time painting it just so I could play with the different colors and textures and just to see how it would turn out. Again, this is more of a learning project for future projects that we, that we have coming up. I probably did four, maybe five coats of paint different uh, styles and you can see that I as I was painting I was also using water to help dilute some of the paint so in some areas it was a little stronger than others So in between coats of paint, I went back to the septic tank area where the dirt was and we seeded it. We went ahead and broke up the dirt, kind of raked it out, uh, bought some grass seed from Home Depot, love going to Home Depot. I spoke with a couple of guys there in the lawn department, told them the project that I had. We, we bought some of the relatively inexpensive um, grass seed. So we're, we're not uh, looking for Kentucky bluegrass or anything like that. Uh, but we broke, kind of, you'll see, we'll break up the, the soil, we seed it, and then once it's been seeded, I went ahead and covered it over with some, some straw uh, and then watered it pretty consistently. Uh, the cool thing about this project is when I went to seed, we had some nice sunny days. And once I was done seeding, it was about two days later, we got hit with about a week of, of rain. So it really helped me when it came to watering it. I did not have to water it uh, as, nowhere near as much as it recommended because it was getting its, its daily doses of water. And it took a couple of weeks and that grass really started to sprout up. So if you look at the beginning of the video, you can see the mud and the dirt versus the very end when I actually install the, the rock there, the, the fake rock, uh, you can actually see a lot of that grass was already coming through the, the straw.
when all is said and done, it was a lot of fun. Saved some money, built us a fake rock, got some experience with some concrete. Look forward to working with it more in the future. But I hope you guys were able to pick up something from this video, maybe learn something, or maybe you have a, a tip for our future projects. And remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Lots more projects coming up. And also, don't forget, make it, bake it, fix it. Whatever it is, do it yourself. <laughs>